you see these lines are related to the flux leakage. And I can measure the, the flux leakage here. Now let me show you another problem. It's a heat transfer problem. I will calculate the temperature in my transformer. And to find the temperature I have to solve heat transfer problem. So I create a new problem with the field. I call it heat. It's a static heat transfer problem and quick field can solve transient problems too. I will use the same model. So this is my model. All objects are already labeled. So I have to specify material properties for each object. In thermal problem, these are thermal properties. The thermal conductivity of the core is 40. The winding are made of copper. And I can set the power losses here. But I prefer to take the power losses from my magnetic problem. So this will be a couple multi physics analysis. And I leave zero losses here for now. Another part of my winding. Again, no losses here. Winding of copper. Winding. Insulation. The thermal conductivity of insulation. And this is the air cooled transformer, so I specify convection from the outer surface. Now I have to establish the link between magnetic and thermal problem. I go to problem properties, links. This is my magnetic problem. And I will take generated heat from magnetic problem as a source in my thermal problem. Now you see the problem are linked now. And I can solve this. This is a real-time multi-physics analysis. Now we can see the result. Here I can see the temperature distribution in my transformer. And again I can adjust the field picture. I can view local values. The temperature in this point and in this point. And I can view plots. For example, this is, I select the transformer surface. And this is the temperature distribution along the transformer surface. And the same I can view in the table. And I can calculate integral values. For example, this is I select now the transformer core. And the average temperature of my core. But again, what is quick field good for? With quick field you can perform 
device analysis very fast. Quick Hilt provides almost immediate response to any design ideas. Say, what would be the temperature in my transformer if it is an oil cooled transformer? So I simply change the convection and simulate my problem. Now this would be the temperature in the oil cooled transformer. And what would be the temperature if I change the load in my transformer? I go to a magnetic problem. For example, no load. Run the magnetic problem. And then run the heat transfer problem. This would be the temperature in the oil cool transformer in no load mode. 